Hey guys, it's Paul, combat veteran, MMA fighter, YouTuber, and today we are checking out a much requested video. This is Soviet Wombles uh, Random Arma Bulb Stuffery. Let's get into it. Expect them to have wire guided launchers or, you know, if it's uh, defending the port from external attack. So the key here is to get in their close range, make sure that they can't effectively utilize their long range against us. What are you, do you Can you take the mind detector out of my face, please? Just making sure you're free of mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess this is like a mission brief going into a mission. Looks like some sort of squad attack. Uh, this actually doesn't look like a special operations unit. This looks like they've got, you know, pretty default standard equipment. Like, yeah, I'm... just making sure, dude. Yo. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. They have the roles designated. See, the one person is a combat lifesaver. That's like below a medic. It's like a, 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 a basically combat lifesaver is like a 40 hour or so block of instruction that covers treating um the like five or six most dangerous battlefield conditions this is things like extremity bleeds uh tension pneumothorax um uh airway management using a nasal pharyngeal tube um and a couple and, and like things like casvac like calling a casvac oh and starting an iv to to maintain uh blood pressure um yeah, so they train you on those, like, key core skills in 40 hours, and it's seen as, like, a, 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 an intermediate version of a medic. Guys, selfie. Look at <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that they have these mind-clearing devices, uh, a lot of AT4s. What's also interesting is that they're all carrying the Kevlar shoulder pads. Those are, well... Kevlar pads that protect your shoulders. Um, usually, we only had our gunners wear them because they were so bulky. Mind detector. It's not a selfie stick. Selfie. Oh God, oh, fine, please. fine. <laughs> Go on, selfie. Smile. <laughs> I love how they all have different nods. Um. Yeah. Any questions, anybody? To your squads. Good luck. Okay. One, two. Uh, form up on me. Oh God, I got the squad of Rita. Uh, hi there. One, two. Okay. Just wait. <laughs> One, two to crossroads. Road, crossroads. We're ready to go. This is crossroad. Copy that. <laughs> Guns. I get the front seat. I get the front seat. Oh, I'm sitting in the back with the lower classes. Do the obstacle course. Go, 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 go. Come on. <laughs> okay. Wow. This is just all over the place. Um, though I appreciate that there's a game that's just regular squad uh, tactics. Um, yeah, it, one of the things that's really interesting is nobody really knows what the future of warfare is going to look like. I mean, nobody ever, like, knows, knows, but, uh, sometimes you can, like, be reasonably certain how things will shake out, and then sometimes things just get, like, tremendously altered. And what's interesting is that the infantry squad, nobody's really sure what the future role is, right? We've, the... In the modern era of counterinsurgency in Afghanistan and Iraq, you saw these nine-man infantry squads, right? Nine dudes with guns kind of walking around, or now nine soldiers with guns walking around. And their role would be to do things like train and mentor local national forces, engage with local leadership, um, you know, talk to the population, establish security, function as something between, like, police and, like, governance support, Right. Uh, but traditionally, an infantry squad is meant to patrol, uh, f find, and destroy the enemy, right? And so there's a lot of questions of what will that look like in the future, right? In the era when maybe there is, you know, when the United States doesn't have air superiority, right? When there's when the enemy also has uh, high-end fighter jets and smart weapons, right? Or when you have only military targets like what does this all look like will it look like counterinsurgency still will it look like uh seizing key targets will it look like uh defense defending cities bases no one's really certain how this will shake out right but the technological changes that are happening in modern militaries right in china russia the united states are pretty tremendous and no one's really sure what they're going to look like there we go so interesting to see i'd be i am interested to see on how sort of the meta on arma is because maybe it'll predict the meta in the real world come on come on move it you bastards come on you call that climbing knees in the dirt knees in the dirt hang on i just gotta drink some cider hang on mm. 
Oh, this is good cider. Holy shit. Come on! This is this is uh this is peak NCO. Right now all those specialists are just seething, watching their NCO just chill and yell at them. Faster! Can we not be five meters from the ocean surface, please? That'd be appreciated. Lower. I really like dolphins, I wanna see one. Alright, this is crossroads ready for three. Okay, back in second. What are you doing? The probable level the assessment of seismic hazard is the first step in the input soil condition. Ah! Okay, okay. Yeah, we're ready. So. Okay, who has a bandolier? Alright, some of these outfits are just janky. Oh, look at this. Look at this with its fancy yeah. pants out. Hand. Next generation hand gesture. That's a good. That's like the future knife hand. This is like, you know, the knife hand in military parlance is the decisive way to point to a map. Whereas the kind hand, the handshake, is much better. As you can see. Oh, gestures. Oh, Fuck you. Revolutionary pointing mechanics. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Ooh, these are all very confident hand gestures. <laughs> He's pointing! I didn't hear a word of this briefing. I'm too amazed by the hand gestures. We have tank south one. Can you give bearing, please? South west. Oh, fuck you. Everyone just run <laughs> Okay, when he's asking for bearing, he's asking for a direction on the compass. Um, this would be like their bearing. Oh, wait. Actually, okay, this sounds really kind of janky. I don't know if they want the tanks heading relative to the tanks or they want your heading relative to the unit. I guess if the unit's close to you, like if you say, oh, the tanks are bearing 280, then if you look down 280 on your compass, you'll see the tanks, right? But if the unit that you're talking to is really far away, their 280 won't be your 280. So instead, you'd have to either like reverse uh, reverse the azimuth, calculate what your communication, your friendly unit will have to, what their um, direction would be. And you can do that with a little bit of triangulation math on a map. Um, or you could probably do the same thing by giving them the tanks heading, but I'm not sure that also requires triangulation by that friendly unit. Rest a second. Can I, can I go play at the digger? They have a digger? That's not a toy in a playground. That is an actual piece of construction equipment. No, you can't play with the... Mike. Look, you can come play with your digger later. We need to save some hostages, okay? I'm comfy. I know you're comfy, but look, you can, we can, need to free the hostages. Look, okay, you can bring the hostages back and show them your digger, okay? Ooh, okay. Yeah, okay, let's go. <laughs> Uh, herding cats is the most, this is realistic squad combat, by the way. This is 100% exactly how it goes. Uh, uh, soldiers are ostensibly adults, but best described and thought of as man-children, or man-children cats. Uh, so Sarno, do you know how you really like that digger? Oh, I see it. Can you see if you can climb up the stairs? It's Seriously, cool. Sarno, it's amazing. Oh, don't Th do This that. is the greatest digger I've ever seen. I order you to stay up there, okay? You can't come down here. Stay up there and hold. Oh man, this digger is amazing, isn't it, Ross? Isn't it the greatest digger you've ever seen? Okay, he's shooting at us. Sarno shooting at us. Got those shots coming in from the east. Look at these fucking idiots. Crossroads, this is one three. We got three souls at base. Need. Stand. Oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. But no, don't let him back in. I'm teaching them a lesson about spacing. Don't let him back in. <laughs> It's very okay, that is uh, well, obviously an asshole move, but even some of the people were hung up about spacing. Listen, spacing in urban combat gets weird because, like you saw there, they were in, they were concealed, right? They were, you know, those thin metal things won't stop a bullet, but they'll conceal your location. And at the end of the day, yeah, you got to bunch up a little bit, but if you've ever seen room clearing, you know things get bunched up. Really fucking simple. I wouldn't recommend shooting at me because your gun goes pew pew, but my fucking gun goes. Half a one one. This is gas chamber. Oh wait, I'm, you uh... can't have the call sign gas chamber. <laughs> okay, I, I, nobody gets call signs, by the way, in any ground unit. I'm sure uh, pilots got some. Even their call signs were always alphanumerics. It'd be like Viper 1-3. Like, those were always cooler, but ours would just be like, you know, mine was like Roughneck 1-6. Uh, it's fine. Okay. We are going to impose Zen upon this team speak. Wait, wait. Damn, yeah, that's how you know this was filmed in 2016, because they're on team speak. Shut the fuck up! I'm trying to impose Zen, you dumb bitch! <laughs> 
I don't think Zen is a just an absence of talking. I think it's a mindset. I I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. <laughs> does anyone want to? Does anyone want to? Sit <laughs> That's very zen Going into a dubstep trial. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Tibetan throat singing. I don't think that's the same thing. I win. There are no winners in this contest. If you're ready to leave, head over to the APC and board it. Guys, when I said APC, well, I didn't mean that. the bloody rubber dinghy. One anti-tank. No, I, <laughs> I love this. This is very 2016, like, edgy humor. He's named himself Auschwitz. I don't even know anymore. Behind the blue container that I'm looking at, Soviet, Copy. I think there is some guys behind it. But I can't actually see because I've got an advertisement for the Marksman deal. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, this new map's amazing. Okay, what is Arma Apex? Is that, I guess, new maps? Like a DLC? Yeah. Wait, has that bird been one of my squad members this whole fucking time? Fucking whispering. Sorry? Whispering on the left, can you hear that? Whispering? Yeah. Can you hear that? Don't go lost on me. Okay, what's interesting... Uh, again, I'm always sort of fascinated when they have these HUDs. If there's one thing that a game like Escape from Tarkov has taught us, it's that the HUD substitutes some really important mechanics. Like, it just kind of washes over them, right? And, like, you're counting your magazines, right? Counting the rounds in your magazines. Those are actually not easy tasks to do. Um, you notice how the HUD is highlighting his squad mates, right? That's also something that's really tough, is to sort out friendly fire, or to just see your squad mates when you are in a camouflaged environment, especially when, like these guys, their camo actually lines up pretty well with the environment. Don't go invisible smoke monster or some shit. Oh, fucking, no, 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 it's, it's gone now. Someone is drowning on the left, I heard. One, two copies. Who whispers whilst drowning? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you on about, Gordon? <laughs> fucking hell, he's, a, he's only been in this on this map like 20 minutes and already he's got fucking... <laughs> yeah, malaria, <laughs> fucking... Cool. Welcome. That's some serious roleplay, when you roleplay getting like, contagious diseases that crippled armies in the in World War One. you know, like diphtheria and cholera outbreaks. Alright guys, good, we've been reinforced. <laughs> New reinforcements, uh, if Carton Waffle starts saying anything odd, <laughs> just ignore him. Shut yourself. <laughs> What I just want to point out is that, yes, it, it, U.S. military troops would, would not behave this way. Um, you know, like North Vietnamese troops, for example, would not behave this way. Um, but, man, irregular forces like uh, Ukraine militia forces or uh, any organized militia in, like, Syria, like, this is exactly the kind of stuff you would expect to see from them. Like, like a really loose sense of tactics, a really low level of discipline unless they are, like, actively being shot at. Um, I think that's really typical, actually, of untrained military forces. Spooky... Uh, 1-1, one, one, this is 1-2, we've been fully reinforced, and we're 260 meters away from sink. Point A, fuck! 1-1 one, one has been engaged by a BM! It's an airstrike on 1-2's position! Might be mines in the area. No, Fucking engage him, why are you running away? Oh, fuckers, yeah, I'll do it myself. Waffle's down. Oh, shit. Christ. Two guys just got wasted because of spacing. Jesus, is it just you and me, Aizen? Did we have more? <laughs> we had like 12 guys! What happened to the 12 guys? Oof, man. Yes, this is this is what's called mission ineffective. I want to see if they're still trying to finish it or if they're just going to try to retreat. The way in our squad! So, okay, the way that you have to understand combat effectiveness math is that it doesn't take much to shut down a unit, right? Let's say you're, again, a nine-man squad. I'm using the infantry squad, right? An MP squad is, is 12. Um, but you're a nine-man infantry squad, or a nine-soldier infantry squad, and you have two casualties. Well, remember, each one of those casualties, let's say they're both, you know, non-ambulatory wounded. Well, 
there needs to be a, two people to either one to treat, one to carry, or like two to litter, like be litter bearers, basically. So now you need your nine man squad is seven, plus you need four people to carry either the casualty in their gear or to be litter bearers or whatever, right? So now you're actually down to three actual gun toters. So you see very quickly, you don't really have enough to perform the mission in any substantive way. One more, Ten one, minutes one, ago. Four. All call signs, this is Crossroads, be advised. The paramilitary forces in the area has been alerted to your... Uh, they're coming! <laughs> I just said crossroads. Fuck a cock. Okay, that actually sounds like real protocol. <laughs> I'm a fucking mountain goat. You're like flipping 80, 90 tons. I'm a 90 ton mountain goat. Fuck you, I ate a bit. Did you fat shaming my tank? Fuck you. Be more specific where it is. Between us and you, in the trees, we can't see it from our position. I'll wait for the uh, DLC watermark to uh, disappear. <laughs> <laughs> you could just carry a launcher with eight rockets. <laughs> He's got eight separate launchers. Yeah, the MC7. I mean, that's funny because the AT4 is a single-use rocket launcher. You actually do get one use out of it. Eat them, some of the so is, is it, you're gonna drop that launcher? <laughs> oh, but he's got a law. Okay, interesting. <laughs> he gets a fresh launcher out the backpack. <laughs> yeah, you could carry another soldier. No, I'm not just bringing my snacks, dude. Do you know the rocket pods in the Apache? I've actually got Pringles <laughs> stuck into those. <laughs> I mean, that's like a realistic rock size, actually. A uh, buckshot round. Pop it in there. That's rubbish! Zodiac, I just need to test this buckshot, so uh, please forgive me. That's nothing! <laughs> That's because it's, it's outside the minimum arming distance. That's absolutely nothing! <laughs> Hang on. So this is something called a stun grenade. Oh no, plug. Completely fucking used to ah! Okay, one more <laughs> I'm going to need okay, uh, two good. rounds of high explosive on marker dragon, please. Did you get that? Is that a bird? Oh, just don't ask. So this is how you go low profile. <laughs> <laughs> what, the, <laughs> what the fuck is that? It's got a face like full of mother. Edberg's ass. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's fabulous. It's not even... Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> you like that? You like the view? You want something? Here you go. Uh, oh, God. I appreciate that he's wearing the mask indoors. <laughs> That's a that's an MRAP though. I'm surprised. That's a really good MRAP model though. Obviously, uh, the designers weren't able to get access to the interior because that's I think considered operationally secure. Um, but the exterior looks just about right. <laughs> I don't have a gun, but I have my fists, and I will start punching. I've got a fist, a woman. Really? Hand gesture. What's this? This is the ketchup girl. I say no, hey, ha, Really? What on earth? This is. I don't even know what this is. I don't know what any of this is. This is a. This is the weirdest mission brief of all time. <laughs> You okay, Neville? You alright? Are you bandit on myself? Sorry? I have bandit, but I don't know. I don't know. I bandit you have some reason. Is he speaking English? Who's still alive in my squad? Joe and uh, this guy that can't speak English. Okay. I can't be dealing, okay? <laughs> oh man. This is this this is this is the sort of irregular militia based warfare that I've I I assume is like I mean I guess in twenty sixteen, right? The the conflict in Ukraine was was raging. Um the uh Syrian civil war was still going, right? Like irregular, poorly trained troops were doing like most of the fighting around the world, right? She sells seashells on the seashore. Do you sell on the seashell? Right, that's that's good enough. Fucking chav. Have you ever heard of a Kevin Costner movie ever since Waterworld? Absolutely fucking not. Yeah, The Postman? <laughs> I think The Postman was before Waterworld. <laughs> Don't you fucking diss The Postman! <laughs> How did I miss? <laughs> How did I miss? <laughs> Can you stop fucking eating with the radio on? Carton Waffle, please stay off the radio. You're using a lot of unnecessary chatter. Um. Um, he said, um. Left tower clear. Fuck, bad nade! Bondweed, run! 
Oh shit! I'm alive. I built something mm. from scratch. If okay. you believe that. So here we have right. the barracks. I haven't fleshed out the insides for reasons of FPS. We have a gym, a state of the art gym. If we move on. Okay, it's funny because that is a pretty classic deployment gym setup. Um, every fob, no matter how small and remote, would almost always have some raggedy ass gym that uh, with weight equipment that came into country probably in like you know seven years prior. But it was still the most frequently used gym in the world. In fact, there's actually a kind of a neat article. I want to say it was like in Muscle and Fitness like 12 years ago called like the most dangerous gym in the world. And it was um, the gym at uh, FOB. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, one of the FOBs in Kunar. That escapes me now. I can't. Yeah, I can't think of it. Yeah. Anyway, the point is is that this this had like mirrors but the mirrors had like bullet holes in them right it was so raggedy and janky and like they interviewed the cook and they're like what sort of high performance meals do you feed people and he's like feed them whenever the army sends me and then i heat it up uh like sometimes there's protein like no man right you will find the hq with what appears to be a floating humvee okay well it's state of the art isn't it if you carry on this way here's where everyone will gear up Okay, ah, with floating gearboxes. More floating stuff. Okay, more floating stuff, that's good. Ah, fuck. Can we shut it down for a sec? Wait, what are you doing? Everything's that's floating, I just need to get oh, into the fucking dustbins. We don't, dustbins care. We don't care about that. Do that on your time, we have a working mission here. Yeah. So, with we... floating resources. No one cares, no one cares. Uh, look at this. This is floating. Seriously, it's just aesthetic I'm, shit. Can we I not have like. I spent a long time. Putting know, all these okay, batteries and but... hammers on the floor. <laughs> uh, FYI, no maintenance person will ever let you just leave your batteries and hammers on the floor. That's like a recipe for disaster. Like, put away your tools, man. They're your tools. Right, okay. Uh, can we not have like 20 minutes of downtime just for a simple... Whoa! Whoa. Okay, okay. Um... <laughs> That's why. That's why. <laughs> okay. These things cause accidents. You know, you leave stuff lying around. Those batteries, they can overheat in the desert. Right, maybe your hammer, uh... I don't know how a hammer could cause a fire. But but you but you don't know. Somebody trips on the hammer and lands in a pile of oily rags while they're smoking a cigarette. I don't know. The point is, you should clean up after yourself because just stuff like this happens. Maybe we should... Maybe you should fix that. We can have some yes. downtime. I've got a helium balloon. Right, the stream's currently running, so we'll try and get some people together and uh, jump into a game of Armour 3. So, <laughs> Jeez. So, uh, it's going to be a bit of safe co-op, as we normally do. And, uh, do we, have a, do we actually have a Zeus today? Uh, well, that's one, well, that's one. <laughs> How is Soviet Womble... I guess when you're a big-time YouTube streamer, you can afford some helium. Fuck you, Cyanide. <laughs> 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 Wow. Wow, guys. That was... Okay, that was actually pretty great. Uh, I'm not even going to lie to you. Um, I, I really yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. yeah, I really enjoyed that, man. I, you know, Arma... I give credit to the role players that really try to follow military protocol. Um, I'd be curious to know, like, what the force-on-force -force meta is for Arma, um, if there is one, or if it's largely missions. But... It seems like it'd be a really cool way to look into the future to see what, uh, you know, armed conflict going forward might look like. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining. Um, be sure to check out the merch store down below, right? We have all sorts of fun merch available. Uh, also, uh, join the Discord. Link to the Discord also down below. And if you really want to support the channel, I've rolled out channel memberships. Um, that's the join button right next to the subscribe button, which you should also hit. Um, but it gets you exclusive access to the Discord, or certain channels in the Discord. Also gives you the right to submit requests for and vote on my Friday reaction videos. And gives you exclusive access, or priority access rather, to my parties when I stream Team Fortress 2. All things you would want, and other games, right? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stream some Arma. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.